The Force is with you, now oh. and always. Oh, we're gonna do that, huh? The Master is here Master as a ghost. Porkins? His power is growing. Of course. Only you can stop him. You must go to Tatooine. Um... Sure, but... Who are we talking about? You're playing the pronoun game. Cinema Sins taught me this. Stop who? Why Tatooine? A starship crashed in an empty canyon. Use the Force. Find it. Okay. Who were you talking to? The holocom's not even on. The ghost of my master. This is crazy, but Master Orgus was standing right there. He spoke There's to me. no death, there's the Force. He's not alive like that, T7. Master Quix once told so me powerful sad. Jedi can live on through the Force after they die. Not a social call, then. What did Master Orgus say to you? Well, yeah. We're going to Tatooine. I don't want to go, but I suppose we have to. There's a crashed starship in a canyon on Tatooine. I can almost see it in my head. Ooh. Then hold that thought. Next stop, Tatooine. The hell are you doing there? I know your face. The one who defeated Darth Angrel. The hero of Tython. Yours truly. <laughs> yep, hero of many secret. places. No one knew where I was. How did you find me? Apparently a ghost told me. The spirit of my dead master, Orgas Din, sent me here. He said you needed help. Thank the Force. And your master. I thought I was dead. Under the circumstances, I think we had better contact my superiors. It almost repaired my hollow before the Sith ambushed me. Jomar! Where are you? Masters, I completed my mission, but Sith assassins shot down my vessel over Tatooine. The what spirit mission? of Master Orgus Din sent my rescuer. I believe you know him. The Force wants our mission to succeed, Master Satya. This is proof. I knew he was the nexus of our fates. What are you talking the about? are transpiring faster than I foresaw. You foresaw this? Then tell me what's happening. This is not the time or place for such revelations. Ah, Jomar, a medical shuttle is en route. Before it arrives, give your rescue at the sensor logs you recorded. Bring us those logs immediately. We'll explain everything when you're on Typhon. Fine. This burden is now yours. Guard it with your life. Ugh. Go. Hurry. Always have to count on me. Ugh. What is this? Can you tell me anything? Just something. What's so important about these sensor logs? I've seen the Empire's home system. Those logs Ooh. reveal our enemy's defenses. Oh. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. Hello, everyone. I brought the sensor logs, Master Satil. I'm sure you have many questions. Master Kilbraga will answer them. Good. It's good to finally meet you in person. They say you're the greatest Jedi the Order has seen in generations. Oh, I will be. I believe the Force has guided you to me. Together, we'll defeat the Empire. Cool. Just the two of us? <laughs> Restoring peace to the galaxy is the reason I became a Jedi. I'm organizing a top secret strike team of our best and brightest. Ooh. Jedi who don't know the meaning of failure. Twice, you've saved the Jedi Order from destruction. Englemore and Darth Engel were formidable opponents. Now I ask you to confront the ultimate evil and help me capture the Sith Emperor. Eh, <laughs> where, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Okay. Yep. This is the hero story. We're going after the big evil, huh? <laughs> oh my. You don't dream small, do you, Master? There's an ancient fortress orbiting the Imperial homeworld, Droman Kass. It's hidden by a powerful cloaking device. The Emperor rules his people from this cloaked fortress. Not even the highest ranking Sith can find him. But we're going to locate that fortress, get inside it, and seize the Emperor. Well, I'll be damned. It kind of sounds like it. And that is indeed the truth. <laughs> but because I'm a Jedi, and because, yep, whatever. Let's just have the Force with us, whatever. If it's there's cool. a way to achieve these goals, we must find it. Good God. We've already made great strides toward our objective. The man you saved on Tatooine scouted the Drummond caste system. His sensor logs will help us plan the assault. How do you end up on Tatooine? We'll plot a hyperspace route through the Imperial Navy's defenses. Slip right past them. 
Other members of my strike team are uncovering ways to pierce the cloaking device and defeat the security around the Emperor's fortress. I could use your expertise on Nalmora. The Empire and Republic are at war there and the fighting has endangered our mission. Oh my. Then I must go. My ship's ready for departure. Tell your people, I'm on my way. We've placed great responsibility on you, but I know you won't fail us. Contact your fellow strike team member Warren Sodoro when you reach Balmora. He'll explain the mission. We're going to save the galaxy. May the force be with us. Epic mission! Ah, Master Braga told me you were coming. Warren Sodoro. A pleasure. I'm Likewise. grateful for your assistance. The situation is growing desperate. The Republic picked an unfortunate time to drive the Empire off Balmora. It's made our team's mission that much harder. Indeed. Just my words exactly. How so? Military reinforcements ought to make our job easier, not harder. My strengths lie in observation, subtlety, and negotiation. Not exactly welcome talents on the battlefield. A Jedi Shadow? Balmora is home to the largest weapon manufacturing plants in the galaxy. Half the munitions used in the last war originated on this world. The Empire develops horrific new instruments of destruction here. Balmora's creations have killed countless innocents. Oh my. Creations like... Uh, Colicoids? Maybe? All that terrible power in the hands of the Sith. We can't let them keep it. I appreciate the sentiment, but be mindful of our mission. We're here for one particular item. We've learned the Empire has a cloaking device prototype at one of Balmora's advanced weapon factories. It's the same technology hiding the Emperor's fortress. If we obtain that cloaking device prototype, we can understand how it works, develop a way to see through it. Exposes hidden fortress, and the Emperor becomes vulnerable. Finding the cloaking device prototype is almost impossible thanks to the invasion. We need experienced native guides to sort through the chaos. Balmora has a well-established civilian resistance. Their spy network's knowledge of the Empire would be invaluable. Well, I suppose we better... get our hands on one of those people. Sounds like we'll need the Resistance if we're gonna find the cloaking device. Unfortunately, the Resistance doesn't trust the Republic. God Despite damn it. my best negotiations, they remain uncooperative. Can't say I blame them. The Empire's driven us off this planet twice already, leaving the Resistance holding the bag. Republic Command just intercepted a distress call. A Resistance medical facility is about to be overrun. I'd go, but an Imperial armor column's in my way. I need you to save that medical facility. Oh, I will. And then I'll use my amazing charms and my badass scar to win over their love. I'll break that siege. Where am I going? I'm sending the medical facility's location. I don't know what you'll be facing there, but do whatever you must to save the Resistance fighters. I will. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. May the Force be with you. The Jedi bought us some time. Get our wounded to the secure area. Move it! Hello, everyone. How's it going? I'm the Chief Medic. Just call me Doc. Okay. Nice path you cleared outside. Too bad we can't evacuate. A whole nest of colicoids will be here any second. Then I'll go kill them all. Take cover. This is about to get ugly. It's been ugly for a while. Just keeps getting uglier. I've got dozens of wounded here. Hope you're not one of those junior Jedi. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I'll head for the secure area and stabilize casualties. Here they come. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was... Genius comment for T7. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Here I come. Perfect. Just utter perfection. Hey again. All sorted out. Idiot. <laughs> hey, look at that. We are alive. Nice work. I know, right? Aww. Is stating the obvious part of your programming? I don't Wait. know what genius picked a colicoid breeding ground for our medical facility. But we need to evacuate quick. Problem is, my critical patients are too fragile to move. And the Empire stole my trauma kits. Well, only one obvious solution then. 
I won't let the Empire endanger your people's lives. How can I get what you need? Our scouts say the Imperials sent my trauma kits to their frontline troops on the plains nearby. The depots will be heavily guarded, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. Just hurry. These people don't have much time. I got as many trauma kits as I could find. There you go. The Imperials won't miss them. Our boys shoot to kill. Apologies for being late. My detour around those Imperial forces took longer than expected. Well, now you're here, so... Let's get this over with. Also, curiosity. Forgive my bluntness, but you appear to be a Jedi who's seen many battles. Mementos from my previous disagreements with Sith. I was oh quite my. the warrior once. Thought evil was something I could conquer with my lightsaber. Oh, you can. Sure. If that isn't the answer, what is? Taking an enemy's life only proves to his companions that you desire their deaths. Peace cannot take root in fear, nor be nourished with blood. Master Braga taught me that. You've done well saving this facility and its patients. The Resistance has already agreed to help us find the cloaking device prototype. The super advanced gadget you're after? The Resistance can narrow down its location, but we need access to the enemy's computer network. The only connection point is at Sobrik, which is covered in Imperial forces. Troop legions, walkers, heavy bombers... Fun place. Agreed. Sounds great. I'll find a way in there if I have to take on the whole Imperial army. A frontal assault. Suicide? Place is covered in ray shields. So? I'll find a way. I believe we can diminish the Imperial forces without firing a shot. There's the always a way, several huh? several comm relays around Sobrik tied to other Imperial strongholds. <laughs> An early warning system. Great. Bomb in attack, the corner, they can right there. More troops to kill us, or we make the Imperials think we're attacking their other strongholds. We'll infiltrate oh. those calm relays, upload fake alerts, and siphon away Sobrik's defenders, leaving it vulnerable. Sounds good, but yeah, it's never easy, is it? I doubt the Empire leaves its calm relays unguarded. The calm relays are protected by advanced Imperial war droids. Very fast, extremely deadly. I'll kill him. I'm no longer quick enough to defeat those war droids. But you are. Exactly. And the Resistance can raid the Empire's computer network. We'll figure out where they've stashed that whatchama thingy it you want. Use this data pad on the comm relays to upload the fake emergency signals. I'll find a good vantage spot to watch Sobrik and keep you informed of our progress. Be careful out there. Perfect. Sobrik's defenses have been reduced to the bare minimum. The Resistance team is heading in. I think it's best if you follow and keep an eye on them. Too much is riding on this mission. Yeah, I suppose. Plus, I want to join in on the fight too. I'll make sure our allies come back alive. The Resistance team identified a vehicle depot as their best access point to the Imperial computer system. Transmitting the grid coordinates now. I'll continue monitoring Sobrik. If I see trouble, I'll alert you immediately. Keep our new friends safe. Over and out. Hey, Doc. Have you accessed the Imperial network? Already downloaded everything. We were leaving when the Imperial medical transport landed for refueling. Avers and his men opened fire. They'll burn scum. Murderers. My men are dying. We'll never reach the med center now. You just made my season, Imp. Bet you've got some choice gear on that transport. Larkin. Greedy vermin. These soldiers were defending Balmora. Why does that name remind me of something? Hm, I don't know. There's a doctor here. He could keep your men alive. What's up? Read? Colocoid nest stirred up by fighting. Uh oh. Of them headed for Sobrik's outskirts. Leave now or you'll be surrounded. Crap. Colocoids? They'll rip us apart! Every man for himself! Move! But the wounded! We can't flee! Those beasts will kill us! I don't abandon wounded men, even Imperials. Then again, being eaten wasn't on my agenda for today. Well, we're gonna have to make a choice now. I think we have to. Huh? Hmm. <sighs> Honor code, I can huh? save these soldiers if someone keeps the colicoids off me. You got it. 
You work your medical magic. I'll take on the Colicoids. May the Force be with us. If we die, at least it'll be heroic. But we're not gonna die, right? Of course not! You hear that? They're here! Let's rock and roll! Hello! I want to... I, I, I bet I want to leave! There we go! I'm very particular about leaving. It's like, you can't go into battle without leaping? Are you insane? Perfect. Hey, Doc. I have done some crazy things, but this beats them all. That That's what you get when you're with me. These men owe you their lives. So do I. Oh. Oh my. That could be so cruel. Hmm. Uh. Oh, it's so tempting to be evil. Oh, but I'm a Jedi. Damn it. Oh. I, I want every Imperial on Belmora to know how a Jedi and a Resistance Doctor saved your lives. Damn my soft I never heart! I a report, no matter how distasteful. Leaving here would be a lot easier if there was another transport. Actually, I did see a speeder bike outside. Only seats one. Hmm. Yeah. You go ahead. I'll I'll be fine. I'll find my own way out, Doc. The speeder bike is yours. Thanks. Your pal. Your friend warns at these coordinates. I'll meet you there. Good luck. I hear you two had quite an adventure in Sobrick. We did? I'm impressed by your commitment to saving lives. We make a pretty great team. We should do this more often. We totally should. You should come on my ship. Be part of my crew. Be our healer. You are a dog after all. I couldn't do this mission without you, Doc. It's big of you to admit that. A lot of guys are intimidated by my talents. <laughs> this is Nicolan Cord, one of the top resistance leaders. Confident he analyzed the data we obtained from Sobrik, found us a lead. One of Ooh. our spies was captured weeks ago, attempting to steal what might be the Empire's cloaking device project. The data revealed where she's being held. Then we must go! Sounds like someone we should talk to. How do we free her? We believe she's inside an Imperial Tactical Operations base. Heavily fortified, protected by a regiment of troops. Well, that's where I come in! Colonel Finley commands the Republic's 5th Expeditionary Force. He's agreed to assist our operation. Trouble is, if that tech op space crew sees my troops marching in, they'll close the blast shields. Those shut, there's no getting them open. Well, bugger. Not even with that. My well. weapon can cut through anything, even a blast shield. No time. If the enemy summons reinforcements while we're stuck outside, we'd be trapped. Aww. One of you Jedi could slip inside. Disable the blast shields before they close, then the base would be ours. Warren is the stealthy one. We have to distract one. that Imperial regiment. Create an opening. I can do the distraction. Provide quite a distraction. Oh, okay. the resistance must be part of this. Our spy won't talk if I'm not there. Okay. I'll escort the resistance. That leaves you to penetrate the base and deactivate those blast shields ahead of our arrival. Fine. I'll go and do that then. Get your forces ready, Colonel. We leave immediately. I can guarantee an enthusiastic response. Excellent! I'll prepare my forces to move out. Oh dear. That resistance leader. Let's keep an eye on him. His spy is the key to our victory, and he knows it. Get inside the Empire's base and deactivate those blast shields. We'll be waiting for your signal. The hell is that sound? Is someone Bad sharpening news, a blade? Friend. The Empire just landed heavy war droids in the region. Hunter killers. Who? Oh. The droids are patrolling the territory between you and the objective. If they detect you heading for that Imperial base, they'll raise an alert. So stealth. I thought you were the stealthy one, therefore I suggested you go and do the stealthy thing.
Yoink! That was a quick reaction time. We can't risk the base's blast shields closing before you get there. You'll have to disable those war droids quickly. Fine, I got it. Scrapped Imperial war droids, coming right up. I'm sending the latest reconnaissance data on the war droids' positions. Eliminate them and continue on to the Imperial base. Indeed! T7 always speaketh the truth. Be careful. Over and out. Deactivate. Haha! <laughs> Another deactivate. Triple deactivation. I'm just Warren, that good. Disable the base's blast shields. It's wide open for you. We're almost there. But Colonel Finley detects a reactor surge coming from the base. Eh? Looks like the base commander initiated a self-destruct sequence. Uh oh. We don't have much time to stop it. Come on it. Down all the security consoles in there as fast as you can. Hurry. And deactivate. Self-destruct aborted. The base is ours, Warren. Send in the troops. Explosions! Hello there, miss! Doc, what are you doing here? Here to save your ass. ass. Sweetheart. Where else would I be? Such a gentleman. I'm sure the Imperials weren't kind to your friend. Make sure she's alright. Hello! We thought we'd lost you, Metal. She's healthy as ever. Life signs green across the board. That's a relief. Metal, what have you learned about the Empire's cloaking device? Imperial scientists left Balmora with the prototype when the Republic invaded. It's long gone. Damn it. I sense great conflict within you. I know you're lying. Uh-oh. What are you afraid of? Wait just a minute, she's one of us. You're jumping to conclusions, Warren. She's filled with fear and desperation. Concentrate and you'll sense it. The truth will come out. Wouldn't you rather be the one who reveals it? When Nicolin hears the truth, he'll want to kill me. Promise you'll stop him. I will, of course. No one will hurt you. Tell us everything. Take it easy. Whatever this is, we'll work it out. The Empire offered me a deal. Cooperate or die slowly. I told them everything about the Resistance. Oh. Names, locations, plans. Crap. I knew it. The Empire has been slaughtering our people using your information. That is, that is kind of Give them something crap. they can use. Tell them about the cloaking device. The Empire is studying it at the Balmoran Arms Factory. It's there, I promise. Good. What kind of security does this Balmoran Arms Factory have? Their defense grid's the tightest on the planet. I got in, but I couldn't get out. You know the price of betrayal. Wait, she has enemy intelligence. She could be an asset. She does. And, yeah, betrayal, I do not like it. But then again, it wasn't... she was captured and then offered a deal. So, it was that or dying. Colonel Finley needs information on the Empire. You work for him now. I'm sorry, Nicholas. I had no choice. Metal was ours to punish. The Resistance will not forget this insult. Oh dear. Now that Neither pissed. will I. Thanks for saving her. I owe you. No problem. The Loran Arms Factory is the Empire's biggest stronghold. Assaulting this base was one thing, but taking on that fortress... Will be a piece of cake. I know that place inside out. Need a shortcut through that Rancor's den? Well, I'm your man. Alright! Yep, you're hired. You're on my crew. Come on, let's go. Welcome to the team, Doc. I'll try not to get you killed. <whistles> Colonel okay. Finley and I will coordinate a full offensive against the Empire. We'll clear you a path to the Balmoran Arms Factory. The rest is up to you. Get that cloaking device prototype at all costs. May the Force be with us. Calling Turbo Lift. Or not. Turbo Lift's locked down, but don't worry. Slicing Imperial security codes is a hobby of mine. 
Give me two secs. You're so useful. Uh-oh. Someone's coming down the turbo lift. Get ready for a fight. The best kind of turbo lift arrivals. The ones where you have to fight someone. Hello. Doc, I thought the imps had killed you. Eh? You too, Remy? How you making out, old fella? Same as always. Pretend to cooperate with the Imperials and stab them in the back every chance I get. Well, ain't that just wise? The Empire's about to lose Balmora. Start stabbing. Don't have to tell me twice. We're in a bind, pal. You know any way into the secure labs? Sure. The imps put me on waste management. Gave me a data card to get in there. It's all yours. Thank you. Thing is, there's guards every two meters in there. We'll kill them all. That's why I travel with a Jedi, Remy. Hmm. Aren't you afraid the Imperials will blame you for this? I have no plans to find out. Not after you opened me a nice, sweet path to freedom. Good luck. Who's calling? Hello. Are you there? It's Colonel Finley. We have a new problem. God damn it. The Resistance has learned of Imperial research into weapons that use cloaking device technology. If the enemy can hide their missiles and bombs from detection, imagine the carnage. Well, so you want me to destroy them? The Empire would rip us apart. You must recover all the Empire's research data on this project and deliver it to us. There's bound to be a computer hub up there somewhere. This may be our only opportunity. Do everything you can. Finley out. Up we go! Into the ceiling? I found the files about the Empire's stealth weapon research, but something's wrong. They're starting to erase themselves. Oh dear. I use turbo lift data cards all the time when I was here. They work with computers too. Maybe we can transfer the files onto the data card Remy gave us. Copy them before they get deleted. And what do you know? It worked. Not bad, huh? Excellent. I'd give you a pat on the shoulder if I could, but I can't. I can't order Shintoro here to do that. That was fast thinking. Well done. Fast thinking is my middle name. Really? Dark fast thinking. Something. You suppose the Empire knows we're here? Maybe. I have been noisy, and that is a Sith assassin. Crap. That's far enough. We're almost done here. Hey, what now? Nicolin, what are you doing? The cloaking device prototype belongs to the people of Balmora, not the Republic. This is our world, our war, and our victory. Son of a bitch. Really? God damn it, stop holding a grudge and stuff. Oh my god. The Empire was on the verge of wiping out the Resistance before we got here. We spent decades fighting for this planet after the Republic rolled over for the Empire. Now you're back to loot our resources? This prototype may be the most valuable technology on Balmora. You're not taking the it. Aren't the Jedi all about justice? If that's true, let us leave with what's rightfully ours. Hmm. I'm not sure if this was something you could hear out there, but to me I just heard a bit of robot voice. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Again, I really want to kill him, but you know me. I'm too goddamn good. Hmm. You know what? I don't want to trade you. I don't want to necessarily kill you. The Jedi will return this technology once we're done with it. Please hand it over. The Jedi will return this once they're done with it. Hand it over, Avers. I'd offer you transportation, but I'm afraid the shuttle only seats two. Good luck. Crappy shuttle. Look at that! There's room for more than two. Now that's smooth talking. I know, right? Things for sure. I'm not working for the Resistance anymore. Got a spare bunk on your ship for a superb combat medic? You know what? I have just that. Yay! Now we got a healer. Now we got a healer. We make a good team. No sense splitting up now. Between my good looks and your lightsaber, there's nothing we can't do. Hello. Warren, I have the cloaking device prototype. After the blood that's been spilled today, that's a ray of hope. 
I'm returning to the Republic base where you first landed. Meet me there. I have the cloaking device prototype and the Empire's weapon research data. We've denied the enemy a considerable technological edge and broken its hold on Balmora. Victory! I'll send the research data to Coruscant. There's a Dr. Godera waiting to review it. Friend of yours, I understand? Indeed. Please give the doctor my regards. I will. It's been a pleasure working with you. Somehow I expected such an important device to be more impressive. I'll deliver this to Master Braga and the Council on Tython. Master Braga's faith in you is well placed. I'm honored to serve with you. Fine. The feeling is mutual. Be well, my friend. You should contact Master Braga when you return to your ship. He's eager to hear from you. Farewell. Master Braga, the mission to Balmora was a success. We have the cloaking device prototype. Outstanding. I never doubted you for a moment. Of course not. How did you find working with my old friend Warren? I've always been impressed by his keen insights. Well... I suppose. His intuition was critical. I couldn't have found the objective without him. You've brought us a great leap closer to finding the Emperor. But there's a new problem. What now? I've lost contact with my Padawan under unusual and dangerous circumstances. You're uniquely qualified to deal with this. I am happy to help, but... Uniquely qualified? What is it that makes me so special? Your former student, Kira, has much in common with mine. She does? Sajar is no ordinary Padawan. He was once a Sith Lord, a member of the Empire's Dark Council. And what now? We dueled on Dantooine. Fought for three days. I won when I convinced him to abandon the dark side and train as a Jedi. What? Oh, the plot twists. Holy hell. You turned a Dark Council member to the Jedi? Incredible. Your own victories are no less impressive. Bengal Moore and former Lord Craven now serve the light side because of you. Yay! Sajar has fully embraced the Jedi way. Whatever has happened, it isn't his fault. He was guarding a Republic base on the planet Quesh when the Empire invaded and attacked our territories. Onwards to Quesh. Good question. You trusted Sajar to guard a Republic base in a war zone? When I sent him, Quesh was peaceful, quiet, a good place for meditation while also serving the Republic. I just spoke with a soldier at Sajar's base. It's surrounded by Imperial forces and my Padawan refuses to act. Eh? Without Jedi help, that base will fall. That's weird. My Padawan won't answer his holo. Sounds like he's afraid of something, but what? Only a strong Jedi can help Sage Island save the base. I'm transmitting the planet's coordinates now. Master Braga, out. Hey, Master. Go. He needs you. And you need him. Why do I need him? Master? Why would I need Sajar? Uh... You alright? The hollow transmission's over. Don't worry. It's a Jedi thing. Yeah. None of your business. This sounds urgent. We should go to Quesh right away. After a so far long and epic journey, we finally get a new crew member, Doc. He is, of course, the Jedi Knight's healer, using medium armor, a blaster pistol and scattergun for weapons, cunning as his primary attribute, and if you are a female Jedi Knight, he is your romance option. His favorite companion gifts are courting and luxury items, and if you aren't at romance level, which is like 5,000-ish, and you've done the appropriate conversations and such, then those gifts won't be as effective, but once you get them to romance level, then they'll be at their pick peak efficiency. He is of course in the med bay of your ship, and he seems like a wonderful guy. Nice, confident, a proper, everyday hero. My master sent you, didn't he? Of course. My shame is complete. Why? This war. I wasn't ready. I never should have left Tython. What? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. Tell me what's wrong. When the Empire first invaded, soldiers here captured some Imperial scouts. 
brought them to me for interrogation. The prisoners angered me. Oh. I killed them. Lied about what happened. When Imperial forces arrived outside, I hurled the corpses at them. Revealed my true face. Ah. Uh. You're afraid to fight because you can't control your emotions. I've lost my balance. Fallen back to the old ways. Failed. As a Jedi. The only reason I stayed is because an Imperial officer recognized me. Called me by my old name. Said the Emperor's wrath is coming. Huh? He's sending his personal executioner for me. His wrath incarnate. I will be punished for my crimes. You were the Emperor's wrath? Huh. Interesting. Considering other things I know about this game. Which I'm not gonna tell you about. <laughs> Who is the Emperor's Wrath? A Sith Lord? A ghost. Older than anyone except the Emperor himself. Even the Dark Council fears him. I wanna meet this Fighting person. would accelerate my return to the dark side. I'd rather die with Jedi teachings in my heart. I'm no counselor, but this guy's a few banthas short of a herd. He's not gonna be much help. Well... Lieutenant Gundo, 86th Infantry. You're here just in time. We got Imperial forces massing outside. My engineers jury rigged some ray shields, but it'll take time to seal the base. Unless you people hold the main entrance, we're dead. Please. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I can't fight them. Well... Then I'll go be the first line of defense, and if I should somehow fail, which I won't, then you'll be here. I'll deal with our attackers. You get those ray shields online. But I... <sighs> yes. I will do everything I can. We're out of time. Imperials are coming through. Defend the main entrance. On it. Got them all. Well, all you look busy. So much rushing. We did it. With the ray shields up, we can hold out until reinforcements get here. Hang on. We've got movement uh -oh. outside the ray shield. Who is that? The Emperor's Wrath? Perhaps? Hello. What a mystery the Force can be. I came seeking a traitor, but found you instead. The time draws near. The time for what? You're not making any sense. Do you know me, Sin? Many know your name. Some whisper it, others shout it. I alone recognize what it means. You're strong and touched by darkness. That is unexpected. An advantage? Possibly. What are you talking about? You may keep the Dark Council traitor. I smell his weakness. He'll die by his own hand, given the chance. Sajar will receive the help he needs. A waste of your time and talents. He isn't worthy. The Emperor must hear of our meeting. I won't disappoint him with delays. Farewell for now. The hell? Is it freezing in here, or is that just my blood crystallizing? My engineers tell me that other Jedi help them set up the ray shields in half the time. He really came through for us. Good call for me, oh, then. Hello! Stop waving that lightsaber around. What are you doing? Stop it! That's dangerous! I need a medic! Oh, okay. The Emperor's wrath is gone. He isn't coming back for you. It felt good protecting the base. For a moment, I forgot what I'd done. Nothing makes sense anymore. I don't know what to do. Republic reinforcements are coming. Once they arrive, you will turn yourself into the Jedi Council. They can help you. I brought shame to Master Braga. He had such hopes for me. Don't you worry about it. He sent me here because he cares about you. What you've done here won't change that. All this time, living among Jedi, and I've learned nothing of forgiveness. I will confess everything to the Council, and let them decide my fate. May the Force be with you. 
Master Braga, your Padawan and the Republic base are safe. The Imperials attacked, but I drove them off. Like a bounce. Sejar is turning himself into the Jedi Council. He confessed to committing war crimes against Imperial prisoners. I can't believe it. Rest assured, Master Satil will question him personally. I trust you'll show the proper discretion until this matter has been fully investigated. Yeah, yeah. Also, this happened. The Emperor's personal executioner was hunting your Padawan. He seemed more interested in meeting me, though. I sent him away empty-handed, but he said we'd meet again. What do you know about this Emperor's Wrath? The Council has heard that title, but little more. I'm sure his interest in you is related to the Darth Angle incident. Our strike team is pursuing a new goal on the ice planet Hoth. We're up against pirates and Imperials there. We need your help. Travel to Hoth and contact Jedi Knight Leha Norez. She'll explain more. May the Force be with you. Master Braga, out. <laughs>